Hello, I'm Dr. Todd Molnar. I'm a fellowship trained, board certified physical medicine and rehabilitation and sports medicine specialist at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. I specialize in physical medicine and rehabilitation and sports medicine. I've been with the Southern California Orthopedic Institute for over 25 years. Physical medicine and rehabilitation is a non-surgical specialty. Uh, we are specialists that work more in the non-surgical management and treatment of musculoskeletal disorders. Much like a cardiologist would work with a cardiothoracic surgeon, we are the non-surgical orthopedic specialist that works with orthopedic surgeons. So it's our goal to return patients to their maximal functional status without surgery, or if they've had surgery, we help with the post-operative management of their rehabilitation process. As a physical medicine and rehabilitation specialist, we do lots of work in the sports medicine field. Ours is one that doesn't require the surgical intervention, but more the sports medicine model in returning either athletes or even the everyday person back to their usual activities. We use sound methods of evaluation, management, and rehabilitation techniques in order to maximize the physical function of the injured athlete. As a physical medicine and rehabilitation specialist, we also treat sports medicine injuries and the athlete. This involves a, a model where we use non-surgical methods such as rehabilitation and other forms of, of rehab to coordinate the care and non-surgical management of the injured athlete. We don't just treat the injured athlete, but also the weekend warrior, that individual who goes out and gets hurt even in regular daily activities. Our model is to return that person to their maximal functional status by using sound principles of rehabilitation and evaluation and treatment. The most common sports-related injury that we tend to see in our office is one of an overuse injury. These typically are based in errors in training and conditioning. In other words, a person attempts to do more than their body is conditioned to do, and this either is an acute injury or more commonly an overuse injury such as a tendonitis. This can easily be avoided by designing a very proper rehabilitation protocol, not just to get over the acute injury, but to help prevent future injuries through proper conditioning. Some of the treatment options that we offer patients who get involved in a sports-related injury involves various types of rehabilitation methods. One is sending them to the physical therapy department where we can prescribe a specific protocol that the therapist can work with the patient on. Part of that protocol is to design a home and or a gym program for the patient so they can take that with them, continue that indefinitely to help prevent future injuries. Another modality we use quite frequently here at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute is water or aqua therapy. We have a full therapeutic pool downstairs in our department where we can rehab injuries a lot sooner and earlier and more aggressively because there's a non-weight bearing water environment. So for example, a bad ankle sprain that can barely weight bear, we can start rehab much earlier in the water. We can then progress from their water program onto a land-based program and eventually back to their activity. To learn more about physical medicine and rehabilitation and sports medicine, please visit our website at www.scoi.com. Thank you.